Good morning, backup dancers. Today is Thursday, and once again, I have a full day. So first off this morning, Larry's, my dad's nurse came and began to check his vitals and talk to us. They gave him some new medication to help him. And he got up to go to the bathroom. And when he came back, they checked his oxygen and it was 83. Bless his heart, he has COPD. And so anytime he exerts any, any energy, his oxygen drops really low. And so he has been hesitant to wear oxygen. And so Kayla and I sat him down and we were like, what are you scared of? And he was like, I'm scared that I'll be on it the rest of my life. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you smoke cigarettes your whole life. That's like what happens. And so we're trying to help him make this step to start wearing oxygen full time and bless his heart. He's so scared. He, and it seems so simple, just wear oxygen, but he truly has anxiety about it. So Kayla is here today and we're gonna try to talk to him and try to soothe his nerves and uh, try to calm him down and let him know that it's gonna make him feel better. Also this morning while the nurse was here, we had the company that's coming out to suck all the water out of our um, under under our house and our floor. They had to come today to make sure that everything is going smooth and everything's drying. And they said it was gonna take about three days to dry everything. And the plumber's supposed to come tomorrow or today. So I've kind of in limbo about him coming. And uh, Kayla and I have a lot of work to do today around the farm. Starting next week, my field trips are starting to come back. So I'm trying to assess the things that need to be fixed appearance wise because i don't want a stinky ugly farm when the people come for my field trips so kayla and i are going to have to go out where the big animals are and begin to scoop up some of that old hay that's wet because the animals are not going to eat it and it's just causing a smell so we're gonna have to scoop all that up with the tractor today and meanwhile dd's Dee still in countdown we may have a baby calf. And the thing that makes me nervous is think about field trips coming and then Dee Dee goes into labor. Big her tutu's gotten. So I can tell she's definitely in labor because that has gotten huge just since I've been sitting out here. And I've been watching her have contractions and while watching her um, adjust herself. But see how big that is? That's exactly what happened when Cinco was born. Being open to the public, those are things that you have to deal with. Many a times my animals have gone into labor while I've had people here. And it's a wonderful learning opportunity for people to see exactly the whole birth process of an animal. So if by chance, Dee Dee was to go into labor, then me and the kids would have to stop what we were doing with the field trip and um, proceed to let Dee Dee have her calf. He's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yes, he is. That's a good boy. Don't eat his horn. That's a good boy. Rugi, you a good boy. Look at that beard. Look at that beard. He's done grown up on me. <laughs> We're all out here just chilling. Look how close Georgia Lee is. Isn't that amazing? She's doing so good. Dee Dee's laying down. No baby. No baby. <laughs> oh. No other place I'd rather be. 
perfect, perfect life. Ain't that rude? Grogi, why you got, when'd you get this beard? Hmm? When'd you get to be a big boy? Hmm? When'd you get to be a big boy, Rogue Rogue? You gonna get your shoes on? We had not said that in a long time. You gonna get your shoes on? Huh? You gonna get your shoes on, Rogue? Hmm? Hey. Tater bug. <laughs> mm, I love the bread. Mm. <laughs> Tepa, I love those baby. Mm, I love those baby. I do. What are you? Oh, you got my hair. What are you doing, baby boy? Oh, here comes Lily. Oh, here comes Lily. Tepa. <laughs> change of plans. I have these big plans of Kayla and I going out there to work in the big farm animal area. And then Shane called and said the plumber will be at the house in just a second. So our plan went out the window <laughs> and Kayla is out there working by herself today while I stay inside, do laundry, clean the house and deal with the plumber. Hey y'all, it's Kayla at Snead's Farmhouse. Um, today I am out here and Aunt Judy's in the house waiting on the plumbers and the uh, serve pro people I guess is what they are they just left uh, a second ago now she's waiting on plumbers so while she's up there doing that I'm gonna be out here and I'm gonna be putting medicine in all of the chicken waters today This never gets old. This part right here. These are gorgeous. Look how pretty. This one's like khaki green. This one's like pink. And this one's like mm, copper. And a white one, pretty white. This part never gets old. One of my favorite parts of the farm. So I'm going out here to check on Dee Dee um, to see how she's doing and what she and Dexter might be doing and see if we have a baby or if we're any closer. I do see Dexter spinning right here. Oh, hey, sweet Dex. Hey, you gonna be sweet to me? Oh, you gonna be sweet or are you rubbing your booty? Huh? You gonna sweet be sweet boy Dexter? Huh. Okay, well, I don't know if y'all can tell, but Dee Dee is laying down right here, and Dexter is being her protector. Ain't that sweet? He hasn't left her side. Hey, Dee Dee. There you are, girl. Are you okay? You feeling okay, Dee Dee? Can I walk around your bed, please? She was laying down last time I was in here, so I didn't see her bag. I can see some teats, but I don't actually see it from the back. To see if it's getting full or not. I don't know. I wonder if 
I can tell. I won't zoom in far enough. Oh my gosh, look. This baby right here wants some tension. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? You want some tension, don't you, baby? I know it. You want some tension. Hey. I know it. You just loving me. <clears throat> oh, Daddy's moving. Let's see what her bag looks like. I hope she don't decide to come over here. And be mad at me for being in here. Looks like she had to TT. an obvious end to this game we're playing I see nothing you say nothing and nobody wins Sleepy, you getting you about to collapse on me. You can collapse. I scratch your belly. I scratch your belly. <laughs> You're collapsing on my head. Don't break my glasses, Ray. Ray. Shay Shay. You want me to scratch? Okay, I'll scratch right here, Shay Shay. Does that feel good? I'll do anything for a pregnant lady. I do anything. Frey. <laughs> Are you uncle? Are you the uncle? It's Friday morning. You see they've got all this hay out here. Here is Dee Dee. Uh... I'm gonna say not much change, still no milk. You do see maybe some more swelling. You see how swollen that is right there. So, um, not sure. I guess it is a lot more swollen. It's supposed to pour down rain all day today, all day tomorrow. 
Uh, so, wouldn't surprise me if she decides to... You see how this side is not swollen that bad? But then this side is like super swollen. Makes me think the baby is sitting on this side. But if you see her, her stomach's protrude over here. And it's not really protrude over there. So I feel like the baby's, you see what I'm saying? See how her stomach is lopsided? So it's as if the baby is shifted over here because see all that? And there's none over here. The vet will be here Monday. There's an obvious end to this game we're playing. I see nothing, you say nothing, and no 